What is up, my Division 2 peeps, and welcome to the Build Junkies channel. Today, we're going to take a look at a nice little Umbra build. Now, if you guys have been watching any of the videos we've released over the last few weeks, one thing will strike you as a commonality, and that is we've been trying to put out builds that are pretty easy to put together. Not not really, really hard pieces to find, um, stuff that you can grind for and knock out an hour or two and still have a pretty decent build to run a gun with. Um, and this one is no exception. Now, I will say this, folks. Um, Umbra's interesting. Uh, for the newer player, it probably isn't as much of a transition as it is for the players that have been around for a minute. But it definitely takes some getting used to on the gameplay style and how to utilize it correctly. Now, um, I do think they do need to rework it. I think they need to add some more damage to the talent buff that you get off the set. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. But you guys check out the gameplay footage. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And I will see you guys again in the build breakdown. Take a look. 
detected. Well, welcome back there, fellers and fellettes. Glad you guys enjoyed that gameplay footage, and let's dive into the build breakdown. All right, starting us off with a specialization. We are rocking Gunner here, and that is because of the 10% armor on kill and the ammo replenishment, which comes in handy on both sides. Primary weapon today is going to be the apartment. I have used this quite a few times in builds in the last couple weeks, and i got to say, I just really love this gun. It's just fun to use, but it comes with a perfectly measured talent on it. The backup to that is going to be the FAMAS, and she is running Optimist as the talent. And as usual, the TDI card custom sit in the pistol slot, looking pimpalicious. Didn't get much use, but she's a great placeholder. Starting us off with the face mask, gonna be the first piece of Umbra. She's rocking weapon damage on the core, crit hit damage on the secondary, and a crit hit damage mod. Chest piece is up next, gonna be a piece of Grupo with Obliterate as the talent crits on the secondary, weapon damage on the core, and a crit hit chance mod. Second piece of Umbra is going to be the holster, rocking weapon damage on the core, credit damage on the secondary. Now folks, you could use any other talent that you want on that chest piece. I typically like Obliterate, it's one of my favorite talents. The pads are up next, weapon damage on the core, crit hit damage on the secondary. And the last piece of Umbra, the gloves, weapon damage on the core, and crit hit chance on the secondary. And last, but certainly not least, the Memento. Now, this is not one of my favorite backpacks. I don't agree with the fact that they say it's best in the slot as far as backpacks go. But I decided to use it anyway. It did work out well once I had my stacks up and I was able to maintain them. Not sure if this build would be cohesive with uh, team play, but, you know, you guys have to test that out and let me know. 
uh, we were rocking a Crusader Shield as one of our um, skills. It was rocking at a tier 2, not much beef behind it, and the Revive Hive as the secondary skill, rocking at a tier 1. So that was where we were at with those. Let's take a look at the stats. As always, please like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications on future videos. We do appreciate you guys stopping by checking out our content. Uh, feel free to stop by any of our other forms of social media. The links for those will be in the description of this video below. We hope all of you guys are having a safe, wonderful day, and we will see you guys again in the next video.